Han Zhou. We started here at the same place I stopped four years ago. The universal green tea capital and the unique Westlake lands. This was our first stop during our project Lion on the Road in China. Well, and we shot of course the main subject, the tea and the food. Right next to the canal, which used to link the capital Beijing with Hangzhou, we had the privilege to be invited to a proper tea house. In the tea ceremony held by Miss Toma and Mr. Guofang, we learned the history, the preparation process, the way to drink tea, and of course the huge impact that it has in the Chinese culture. It may seem somehow boring or stupid for some people, but tea is not a subject to joke about it, especially here in Hangzhou. Zheng Jian explained to us that there are three steps to drink tea. First, with your eyes. You look at it. Warm beforehand the tea cups with hot water to bring the cup at the right temperature. Like that, you are ready for the second step. To smell it. You can hear the the sound. The sound. You also have to wash the tea once and throw out the water. Then you're going to be ready for the third and the most complex step. The tea tasting. And then you have a look also the, the tea soup. And then try to smell. And then take a drink. For uh, today, tonight, if we can chin chin, chin chin, chin, chin. Uh, chin, chin. for uh, good luck to <laughs> our project and good yeah. luck also to Toma, Jen, Jen Jie, Jen Jie, our our Chinese teacher, first Chinese teacher. Thank you. We do like this. Cheers mm -hmm. and cheers to. Guo mm. Fan. Oh, like this? No, no, no. no. It's okay. 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 He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah. It's it's a blasphemy if you if you chin chin with the yeah. uh -huh. with the yeah. tea. No. Okay. Sorry. 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 No. Do it. I won't do it. Well, that was a proper way to taste tea. The most expensive tea in the world is around 100,000 RMB, about $15,000 for 500 grams. Wow, that's crazy, no? Because the process of bringing tea into the tea house is also very special and requires a lot of researches. First, for the location and providers, and second, for the story and methodology of preparation. Not everything is just by case, every single detail is so important. Also consider in different dynasties the tea was consumed in a different way. Sometimes it has to drink, sometimes it has to be cooked. The traditional way was copied by a Japanese monk during the Song dynasty when the capital was in Hanzhou and he learned and took all the traditions all the way to Japan and kept them there until nowadays. <laughs> he loves tea, I'm sure. Is he married? <laughs> Yeah. Is he married? No. Uh, to yes. the tea. <laughs> <laughs> so the tea is related to Buddhist and the wine is related to Christianism. <laughs> so it's a fight of, of religion. Yeah. Yeah. If you have to pick up one one characteristic of Hangzhou to describe it to the whole world. Okay, why why they should come to Hangzhou? Yeah? For us this is the, the soul of the city. The soul of the city. Yeah. So come to Hangzhou because the West Lake, West. yeah, and drink tea with uh, Miss Toma, Zhen <laughs> Jie, <Yeah. laughs> okay, and with Guo Fan. Guo Fan. Guo Fan. <laughs> they will teach you how to drink tea in the most professional way. Yeah. After a great chat, I have the next conclusion. The number one drink in China is definitely the tea, and from it derived plenty of social and cultural activities. 
But we don't give up, we still have a chance because as Thomas said to me, her favorite drink beside tea is the good red wine. So we will continue travel and exchange our new knowledges and bring some fresh air, why not some red wine, into such a beautiful tea-based culture, China. You surprise me every day. so much I got a bit hungry. So let me take you now into the kitchen of one of the best chefs in the city, Mr. Liu Liang. He received us in his own restaurant, Song Yen, and introduced us the best traditional Hanzhou recipes. Are you ready? It is a huge honor to be inside his kitchen and discover his secrets. First and the most famous recipe is the Westlake fish in sweet and sour gravy, the Shihu Tsuyu. It's a recipe with more than 9 decades of history and is the number one food landmark of Hanzhou. If you go to Hanzhou, it's the first thing you must try. The fish must be from Westlake, well, or nearby, and the sauce is composed mainly of sugar and vinegar, together making a starchy, sweet and sour taste. fish balls with wasabi cream, my personal favorite recipe, the young bamboo, the fried shrimps with longin tea and the mountain mushroom soup are other recipes that conquer our palate and gave us an unforgettable feeling, probably the best we could have had in Hanzhou. Dompo pork recipe belonging to Song Dynasty and named after a famous poet, Su Dompo, it was reposed majestically by Liu Liang and created a unique combination with green tea buns stamped with its own Hanzi signature. So there is no question where to go next time when we are here! Wait a minute, cut this shit! Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. Okay, ready? Ready? Okay. 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 Okay.
准备，准备，准备 ，OK。